Hello YouTube, it's the DTM Show, episode 54, and today I'm going to review Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo, and also for the Wii Virtual Console. So, let's get started. Okay, that's my Nintendo Wii set, so let's start this review. Now, Super Mario RPG is a very good RPG. This game is basically the template for most Mario RPGs. Example, Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi. Now let's kick off with the story of this game. The story of this game is pretty simple but it's also pretty good. Basically, um, there's this guy called Smithy and he's um, destroyed this place called the Star Road. And throughout the game, you basically have to collect seven stars, and these seven stars repair the Star Road, and basically save the Mushroom Kingdom from Smithy's uh, minions. And it's a pretty good story, and it works pretty well. Graphics for this game, they're very, very good. It's some of the best I've ever seen on a Super Nintendo. It sort of looks 3D in several points of the game, so the graphics are really good. Uh, sometimes the perspective can be confusing at times, especially in the um, dungeon with the um, underneath, under the sea um, pirate ship. But I'll talk more about that later. Controls this game. The controls this game are really good. Basically, the arrow pad moves you around or a left control stick. If you hold down Y, you can move faster. Tap B, you can jump. Uh, A talks to people. X brings you to menu. L and R don't do that much. Start doesn't do anything. Select doesn't do anything. So the controls very basic and very easy to use. Uh, music for this game is also very good. It's got some very nice tunes in which have really catch you. Gameplay for this game. The gameplay for this game is an RPG and it is a very good one. It's probably one of the best RPGs on the Super Nintendo and for good reason. One of the main reasons this is one of the best RPGs is this game sort of introduced a lot of gamers to RPGs because in the old days RPGs weren't that popular especially in America now when the Japanese wanted to bring RPGs over to America and the UK they basically made several attempts and Super Mario RPG was one of the games that introduced the Americans and the English to the RPG genre and it is a very good game. Um, good stuff about this game. Well, good stuff about this game is definitely the story. The cutscenes are also very good, and the gameplay is just fantastic. And you think it's great about this game? It's made by one of the best RPG developers of all time, SquareSoft, aka Square Enix. So, yeah. Um, and the first great this game is the world map. Now, in most RPG, there's a lot of globe trotting, but in this game, you get a very simple world map to um, basically go from each part of the game, which makes the game very easy and very accessible to um, people who have never really played an RPG before. Um, the other thing really good about this game is throughout the game, you find treasure boxes. And some of these treasure boxes can be um, hidden. I mean, example, let's say you're um, walking along and you press the jump button. Sometimes you can find a hidden treasure box which will um, give you a hidden item. There are several hidden blocks throughout the game and some of them can be really tricky to find. But, I mean, I remember one, you had to basically jump on top of a toad's head, then do a really big jump onto a brick and then onto a new brick, and then basically onto the top of the um, game's background and bash a brick. So the game does get really inventive with all these secret treasure chests and secret blocks that I can find. And the other thing that's great as game is the level up system. Basically, you fight enemies. When you fight enemies, you will level up. And when you finish the battle, you can basically choose one of three stats to upgrade better. You can choose your uh, offense and your defense your magic offense or your magic defense 
that sort of thing. And it's really helpful because it gives the gamer um, a choice in which one he wants to upgrade first. And uh, you can sort of like customize your cards and upgrade them pretty much any way you want. Anyway, let's talk about some battles now. The RPG battle system in this game is very simple. It's turn based like most RPG games. And it works really well. Let's just take out these Goombas. Um, this game also has action commands very much the same as Paper Mario had action commands. Basically, you um, pick an enemy to attack, they're at the end of your attack. Just before your attack action ends, you press the A button and sometimes you can double the damage of your attack. Each attack in the game has a different timing and you basically have to press A at certain points in the attack animation to get more damage. It's rather tricky and does take a while to master. Now as for the enemies themselves, the enemies also have their own att attack animations. Let's say an enemy wants to bite you. If you press the A button just at the end of their bite animation, the bite will do less damage and you might even be able to block it, which can be very helpful. Um, if you think it's great this game, are all the special moves. I'll just show off um, a few just to show you the like. Press the um, Y button whilst they're battled twice, you can open your special move menu, you just press Y to pick your own move. I'm going to use. Fire Orb here, which is one of the very first ones you get. You just press Y really, really fast to launch fireballs at the enemy and do a lot of damage. That's basically how the battle system works. I'm just going to show off a new battle to show off some more stuff. You can't do first strikes in this game like in Paper Mario, so don't try and jump on the enemies expecting to get a, a first strike because it just doesn't work like that. I so you can't do that. It's a bit of a shame, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, also you can do in battles. If you press the B button, you can defend or run away. Running away will cost you coins. If you press the X button, you can um, bring your items and use them to heal your characters. Uh, if you press the A button, you can just attack the enemies. The battle system is just really simple. The only thing that's really hard about it is the um, action commands. Let me just um, take care of these goombas and I'll talk about some more stuff. Right. Um, you know what's great about the game? Are the coins themselves? Throughout the game, you collect coins so you can buy weapons and all that sort of stuff. Um, one thing that's a little bit weird is that you can only hold 999 coins in your wallet at a time. And this can feel a bit restricting if you want to basically collect a lot of coins and um, buy a lot of items in bulk. So, the wallet restriction can be a little bit restricting and a little bit annoying at times, but it's not too bad. There's also a newer type of coins in the game, and these are frog coins. Now, frog coins work somewhat different to normal coins. Basically, throughout the game, doing, by doing certain mini games and certain special challenges, and sometimes you can even find them in secret blocks, you can find frog coins. These frog coins you can use to um, trade for special items. I mean, one of the best ones you can get if you manage to get a lot of frog coins is one which lets you um, basically cut in half the um, FP points you need to use a special move. Because some of the special moves do cost a lot of FP and they can drain your FP very quickly. Uh, anyway, you two, I've run out of time, so I'll cover this more in the next part. Bye.